What's going on guys, Alex here with HD Alex Films, and today I'm going to show you guys my iOS 7 review on the iPad 2. So iOS 7 is available all on the iPod Touch, 5th generation only, the only, the only iPod Touch available on the iOS 7 is the 5th generation, the iPhone 4, the iPhone 4S, the iPhone 5C, the iPhone 5, and the iPhone 5S. And on the iPad 2, iPad 3, and iPad 4th generation. The iPad 1st generation, as you guys know, can only be updated to 5.1.1 for RAM reasons. So, in order to get started, let's go ahead and show you with the basics. So, let's go to General, and then Settings. Um, as you see right here, my version does say 7.011A465, uh, which is basically the Gold Master version for the people who had developers. That's what it was known as. Um, so the first thing I want to get started with is the FaceTime uh, thing. The FaceTime has changed a, a by a big uh, because if you see right there, it did it did change and do all that stuff. Um, the calendar has also changed and pretty much the the overall layout of everything has changed. As you see right here, I have a moving wallpaper, so my wallpaper actually moves as my this device works. Of course, this uses more battery, but they're on the iPad too. I don't have to worry about that because iPad too has a big battery. Um, you can also select the stills wallpaper by choosing choose wallpaper and then when you choose the wallpaper you go to stills instead of dynamic and you can select between all the stills also including the some of the default ones and if you go to choose back you can also go to dynamic and choose the different colors so far there's not that many in the future I believe that they should add some more alright the next thing I also want to show you is the camera now the camera did uh, get some significant developments um, as you see right here, it did change by a lot, but you still get your normal shutter button, uh, as well as if you just swipe up for video, swipe down for photo, and swipe down for Instagram size pictures, also known as just square photos. Uh, the next thing I also want to show you is the clock. The clock has also changed as shown a, a thing around the world. You can pretty much add anything you want. Uh, just click on add and select your country, and when you add something, it adds it. Alright, the next thing I also want to choose is the map. Now, you know, in iOS 6, and the transition from iOS 5.1.1 to iOS 6.0 was a huge transition. Um, as you see, you know, iOS 6 maps weren't, weren't that good. Well, uh, they have now gotten a lot, lot better um, because they, they just have gone advanced. I have not gotten a chance to yet use them in live traffic, but I hope to do so soon. The next thing I also want to go over is the, a lot of icons has changed, such as the FaceTime is now green again, just like it was in 4.3.1. Um, the photo booth has changed, almost looks like YouTube now. The music has changed. Um, the mail, every, every icon, I, per, I think, except the, some games in appearance have changed. The font has even changed from being, you know, Apple standard font to some, I think, Arial or something like that. Um, Next thing I want to show you is the music app. If I open up the music app, you're going to see that the music app has added a whole new section. It's huge. It's called, well, iTunes Radio. And pretty much iTunes Radio is the same thing as Pandora, just with less ads. And you get to uh, skip your songs without having a limit, which is absolutely fantastic. Um, I've also got the songs here. You can select songs, and you just play your song. When you play a song, it um, apparently does a great job uh, of playing the music and doing all that stuff right there all right also the last thing i want to show you is the app store because the app store has changed a lot too um i mean the change from it changed from iOS 5 it changed to iOS 6 it changed to iOS 7 i believe it's going to change in everything you also still have your standard app of the week as well as your top charts what's new purchased and updates uh, you now have the option to go from paid here scroll one section at a time and stuff that scroll a whole page uh, and top grossing, of course, is the most popular section. So, that's uh, pretty much it. And then I also want to show you one last thing. Um, the last thing I want to show you is that how iOS 7 is not supported on the 4th generation iPod. Some people don't believe me when I say that, but it is true. Let me just show you. Um, so, here's my 4th gen iPod right here. And as you see right here, when you go on it, oops, it's not turned on, so I can't show you. Whoops, sorry about that. Um, I'll show you another time, though. Um, thanks for watching, though. Comment, subscribe for more videos of me. Um, thanks for watching. Uh, hope you guys have a good time. Uh, enjoy iOS 7. I personally like it. Of course, it's a brand new iOS. I already ordered the 5S, uh, yesterday, the midnight release. Hope you guys enjoy it. Thanks for watching. Comment, rate, subscribe for more videos of me. Bye.